Let's do it. This is another in a series of 115 volt MIG welding. Horizontal, outside corner joint on 11 gauge, eighth of an inch thick steel. We're going to get right to the meat, so I'll list all the settings at the very end. First thing is you got to be comfortable and you got to be steady. It's hard to hold a nice tight stick out that's even all the way to the end of the joint and the right angle if you're not steady. So I'm propping that gooseneck on my thumb and propping my hand on the table and I'm trying to hold about a half inch long stick out. That's the distance between the contact tip and the puddle. I'm using a very slight pull angle also called a drag angle but it's only about 10 or 15 degrees. You could just as easily use a push angle on this joint. You could even go straight in 90 degrees and that would work. Just don't get carried away with your gun angle. Don't use an extreme push angle or an extreme pull angle. And you'll be fine. It's funny what difference lighting makes. I've got a big light on this and I pull it off right there. It looks like a whole different weld. In just about 10 seconds I'm going to show an arc shot of a push angle just to show what that looks like. And at the very end, I will show all the settings, voltage, wire feed speed, gas flow, etc. You will notice a little bit more spatter here on this push angle compared to this slight pull angle. That's the main difference. For me, I can see where I'm going a little bit better with a push. This is the machine that I use for this video, and here are the exact settings. The wire feed speed is a great deal lower than what is recommended, but on an eighth inch thick outside corner joint there's just not much area for the weld metal to go so I got better results turning it down all machines are different but it worked with this one 